Good morning, everyone. I'm Brett with Dollinghouse Construction. As you can see, we have a uh, few items in front of us, and today Mark Cook is going to kind of explain what uh, these items do and how we use them. Um, I think the first thing we we wanted to explain to everybody was seismic retrofits on crawl space homes. So. When we, when Dollinghouse gets called out for a earthquake retrofitting bid, uh, we first talk to the homeowner. Um, we only do crawl space homes for earthquake retrofitting. Mm -hmm. Now, what's a crawl space home? That is where it's a raised foundation where it has a perimeter stem wall and there's an entrance. Okay. And in Southern California, it's not like the Midwest or some other area where there's basements and large accesses to underneath the house. Correct. We in California, I would say an average height is about 18 inches. So you're literally belly crawling to look at these jobs. They're not, they're not easy. Okay. So what do you, what, what do we do in these spaces to seismically retrofit them? So what we do is we, um, we make sure first that the house is bolted to the foundation. So and if that is the case, then based on how the, the, the age or rust quality or, uh, of the bolts uh -huh. that are bolting the, the house to the foundation, then we install these UFP 10 plates to the foundation here. And what exactly does that bracket do? So this bolts on to the stem wall and the mud sill plate. The footing? The, okay. Yeah, it goes to the footing and then the sill plate. Okay. So it, what happened was in Napa about three, four years ago, they had some pretty major earthquakes. Uh huh. So they were these, some of these um, places were not bolted to the, the stem wall. Right. Um, so they shifted off the foundation. These are to help them stay together. Stabilize them. Yeah. Okay. So this right here, it's made by Simpson strong tie and you bolt it to the mud sill and then this gets bolted into the foundation. Which on a lot of older homes is not bolted. A lot of older homes are either, we put these every six feet around the whole perimeter. Right. So what, how you do the math is like, if it's 200 feet, you divide six into it and that's how many um, bracket UFP 10 plates that you need. Okay. So, so then, so when I'm doing an inspection, I talk to the homeowner, um, usually <clears throat> raised foundation houses are between 19, 30s where we can do this because because you don't want to install this if the footing itself does not have steel in it so that's very important to think about and another thing is you cannot install these brackets on brick no uh footings no uh, rock footings stuff like that pretty interesting story but uh i went to do uh, a job here in Southern California. Um, I went to a house and they were actually filing a lawsuit against this other company because of that. Oh wow. This other company um, installed this UFP 10 plate, this galvanized steel plate into brick. Oh. And brick is just individual entities yeah, from mortar and so any earthquake it's just going to rip it apart, right. which and this was, this was actually one of those big basements. So I could walk in there, but so we'll get back to, you know, when I go meet with a customer about a retrofitting. So what happens is I, I speak to the customer. We do make, I do make sure there's steel in the footing first. So it has to be a house, probably thirties, forties and, and newer. Mm -hmm. And then, um, I crawl underneath, take pictures, get measurements, and then uh, I come up with a repair plan and show them where to install, where I plan on installing the UFP templates. So there is a program out there mm -hmm. that promotes this called the Bolt and Brace program. Can yes. you fill us in on 
this program a little bit? Yeah, so the, the California Earthquake Brace and Bolt program is you, you go on their website and you actually search your zip code to see if it's apl applicable. Mm -hmm. So what happens is there's certain insurance companies and then the California Brace and Bolt program that will give you $3,000 towards your retrofitting project. So then we submit our information to that program and then they get, uh, we get paid directly from Earthquake Brace and Bolt and then we charge the customer the remainder. But it is a sizable amount that the mm -hmm. state offers the customer. Definitely, 